three. All right, we're gonna learn how to suction the Ziva girl. Ziva girl. So when you start hearing like a rattly in her trach, it's when all the secretions start to collect. And she's pretty obvious when she needs to be suctioned. She'll get fidgety and you can hear it. Um, you don't want to suction too often, but you definitely don't want her to be having to work harder to breathe if she doesn't have a clear airway. So to get started, sanitize your hands 100% of the time. That way you just start with clean hands. In the hospital, this is like a sterile procedure. In the home setting, it's just considered clean. So then you open your catheter. You wanna find like kind of a flat surface to work on. Um, that's gonna be easiest. You open your gloves and you put your gloves on. I will put them on sterily. You don't have to. That's kind of the hardest part if you don't know how to put on gloves sterily. But what you're gonna think of is you're gonna think of having one hand as clean and one hand as dirty. It obviously has a clean glove on it, but this is the hand you're gonna to touch other things with. This hand you're only gonna to touch the suction catheter with. That's why, that way it's as clean as possible and we're not introducing anything into her tray. So you're gonna grab your suction catheter. You can touch it with both hands right now because you have not touched anything else since you sanitized your hands and put on your gloves. You're gonna find the number nine. That is where we currently suction to. Um, you find the number nine and you put your fingers right there. That way you don't go further than the number nine, which is the end of her trach. If you went further than that, it would probably instigate like a cough or a gag reflex. So once you find number nine, you put your fingers on there and you hold it and you do not want to move your fingers and you don't want to touch anything else with this glove. Then if it's helpful, you can kind of wrap this catheter in your hand because she likes to grab it now. And so if she grabs it, it makes it a lot harder. So once you grab this in your hand, you keep this away from anything else. Then you can grab your suction tubing and stick it on the end of the suction catheter. So now since you touched other things with this hand, it's kind of considered dirty. You want to work with this hand, touch everything with this hand. The on switch in the suction catheter is right here. You flip it on and we go to 100. So you occlude your thumb over this hole and you hold it down while you're going in and while you're going out. I'm gonna turn that off while I finish talking. You don't wanna stay in her trach for more than five seconds. So you're gonna occlude your suction catheter. You're gonna go in and you're gonna kind of twist it. The tiny holes at the end of the catheter are what get the secretions out. So you kind of wanna turn it so that you can get everything. And you go in to your fingers and then come back out. It takes about five seconds and then you listen. If you still hear some secretions, you do it again. Usually two times clears it. Every once in a while we need to do it like, you know, a time or two more than that. All right, so I'm gonna take her HME off, set that aside, and I'm gonna include my suction catheter. I'm gonna kind of put my hands there, and I'm gonna go in to my fingers, twist, and come out. And then I kind of listen, and I'll go in one more time. And I'm holding it the whole time. <laughs> 